What would make your heart skip a beat? Our story starts with Bob on a date in the park when he tells her, I think my heart just skipped a beat. Thinking he's trying to win her over, his date says, that's cute. Little does she know, Bob was dead serious, but he's notoriously a hypochondriac, she thinks. But Bob insists on going to get checked out. Worried, the date calls 911. Bob arrives at the hospital, worrying if he's going to be okay. Once in the emergency room, Bob is quickly hooked up to an ECG machine. This is a very important and commonly used device to measure the electrical activity of the heart for diagnosing heart abnormalities. Bob doesn't know this, though, and in his state of fear, he anxiously asks the nurse and doctor what this strange, scary machine is. The doctor quickly assures him that his ECG reading says he's fine, but offers to explain it to Bob just to calm his nerves. Bob quickly agrees, and they get down to the nitty-gritty of ECGs. Bob is finally discharged from the hospital, and his date asks, is he okay? He says, hey, I'm okay, but I have a heart-filled story to tell you. The sinoatrial note of the heart sends out an electrical signal that is propagated through heart cells in the form of action potentials. At rest, cells are polarized, so a voltage potential exists across the cell membrane, where more positive charge is on the outside and negative charge on the inside, as shown in figure A. The action potential causes depolarization, briefly switching the positive and negative buildups, causing a dipole moment in the cell, which we will talk about next. This is pictured in figure B. This causes the heart to contract, producing a heartbeat, the general direction of the heart's overall dipole moment is shown in figure C. Voltage is the electric potential difference between two points, further defined as the work needed per unit charge to move a test charge between two points. A voltage is created across the cell membrane of the heart through chemistry. Electric dipoles are at the root of the electrical properties of the heart. Dipoles involve two equal and opposite charges at a distance d apart. The dipole moment, p, is the magnitude of the charge times their distance. p is a vector quantity, meaning it has both direction and magnitude, but the direction in dipoles is always pointing negative to positive. More on this can be found in Chapter 20 of the Wolfson textbook. How does this all relate to the heart? What makes the heart a dipole is known as vector superposition. This means the dipole moment of each cell sums up in the direction of the wave of depolarization. EKG interprets dipoles through waves of depolarization, a depolarization wave moving towards an electrode as a positive deflection and a wave as a negative deflection. The size of the deflection is proportional to the size of the dipole. The leads attached to your body registers depolarization whenever the current flows towards a positive electrode on the surface of the skin, showing an upward deflection. Also, when a current flows away from the positive electrode, showing a downward deflection, shown in the EKG reading. All leads register differently due to the magnitude of vectors at different points in time. The different viewpoints coming together to give us our EKG. After explaining the concepts behind his ECG experience, Bob wins his day over. After all, she can't resist the nerdy physics geek. It's a classic story, and they lived happily ever after.